I'm gonna get down on you. This is my little mother. Livy, you're so tall. It's like I grew. It's wow. so weird. Wow, what happened? Wait, you're on my good side. Oh, well, okay. Hello everybody, it's Olivia. Welcome back to my YouTube. Yes. When I used to do videos I'm with mom. Yeah. And when I used to do videos with HelloFresh back in the day, the thing was I really didn't know how to cook. So my mom would <laughs> if you remember from the vlogs, she would help me with all the cooking videos. I was having John over and Candace and Bob's wife, Kelly. It was the week of the one year anniversary of Bob's passing, so we all got together to have dinner and um, we did it at, you know, my yeah. house. And we were gonna just order in food and I thought, well, it'd be so nice if I could make like a home cooked meal for everyone. But what can I make that doesn't feel too intimidating, that is relatively simple and I think everyone would like, especially it's been raining here, it's been a little bit cooler in California. So I decided to make chili. Can feed a lot of people and I could make it before. So I made yeah. it the morning of. And then I also made some cornbread. She made home bread, home bread, home bread, corn bread, <laughs> homemade, homemade, homemade cornbread. Homemade cornbread. No, but you know what? Actually, my my mother-in-law, God rest her soul, years ago said to me because I said to her when I first started dating my husband, I don't know how to cook, and she said, "Can you read?" And I said, "Yes," and she said, "Then you can cook." So there you go. Yeah, and now you always say, "If you can read, you can cook." That's right. And so, you're a good cook. My love, can you cook? Reader. Thank you for your appearance. <laughs> so my mom today is gonna show us how she made that chili recipe and home, I can't say the word. Cornbread. Cornbread, homemade cornbread. Homemade cornbread. And I tried it, I actually didn't get invited to this dinner party they had, but I came over <laughs> the next day. She was not invited, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was, the only, it was the OGs of the yeah, house. That's fine. <laughs> I had it the next day. Milo. He's squeaking his tennis ball. I tried her Milo. Milo, you like it? Oh, you love your squeaky tennis ball. It's just not ideal for filming, you understand? He said I wait, don't, I don't care. Leave it on the ground. It was just as good the next day. Well I actually haven't had it the day of, but it tasted amazing the following day. I came to her house and she heated up, put some rice under it. Maybe yeah. we should make some Do rice. Do you have some rice? Yeah. Yeah, we'll make some rice to go. With um it. and it was delicious. So we hope you guys enjoy. Oh, you have a movie coming out? I do have a movie coming out on, on January. GAC. Yeah, it's actually called Great American Family, and it's on uh, January 28th, Saturday night. Um, and you have to look for your local cable listing. Direct TV, I know it's channel 326, but um, yeah, look at your local cable listing if you want to check it out. It's just a sweet, feel good movie. Um, is it a Christmas movie? It's not a Christmas movie because it's oh, not a Christmas shocking. Anymore. So it's a, but you want it's just a new, like it's, a, it's called Fall into Winter. It's just like a winter romance story. It's very sweet and make you forget about your problems. James Tupper is in it with me, who is just a dream and a doll to work with, and such a nice person. Um, yeah, so check it out if you're so inclined. Do it and you're cool. Okay, let's get started. Can you open this a little? Yeah, I got you. Don't try it. Never mind, I got you. I found this recipe on a website called The Wholesome Dish, and I guess somehow you'll link it so they can follow it. It's on my phone here. I don't like a mess, so I like to clean up as I go along when I'm cooking. My dad taught me that. So I think what I'm gonna do first, Liv, is what we'll do is I'm gonna take all the spices, yeah. measure them out and put them in a bowl and mix them together so that we have that taken care of. We're gonna put the chili powder, the cumin, the garlic powder, and this calls for, um, it's optional, uh, cayenne pepper. Some people don't want the if cayenne. If you like spice. Or a little heat. Let's put the heat. Let's go with the heat. Okay, Let's so do you know, did you did you read? Did I saw it said two tablespoons of cumin. Oh my Sorry. God, <laughs> you're, I just said, I don't like a, I don't like a mess. <laughs> I don't like a mess, and you're making a mess. Oh my gosh. All right, okay. <laughs> two tablespoons of cumin. Well, All I'm right. sorry that this jar is stupid. It should fit. Well, okay, put that in. That's, we need another of that. <laughs> He's taking over. Now we have uh, two and a half tablespoons of chili powder. Uh oh. I don't know, I'm gonna have to. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> sugar, we're gonna do some sugar. I'm gonna do this over the sink here, guys. Two tablespoons. And it only says a fourth teaspoon for. It's not a lot of cayenne. cayenne pepper. Can I just eyeball that? Uh, no, let's just say. <laughs> well, you're gonna be happy because this one is gonna fit in. Yeah. Here, you try it. Thank you. <laughs> a tablespoon of garlic powder. Oh, I'm a little low on garlic powder. 
Oh, no. Okay. That's gonna work. Are you dancing in the background? It's nice. My sushi. Go, go on, go, go, go on, go, go, go on, go, go, go on. Put this is that all of it? Mix this together. This is all of the spices that we're going to use. Want me to put your spices away? Now in your we bag. can put the spices away, and that's how I like to clean up as I go along. Some Sicilian salt from Drago. Nice. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the beans. So this one calls for kidney beans, which I do have the kidney beans and you have to drain them, but I also like to add some white beans. There's a lot of bean jokes. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Have you ever heard? Yes, I've heard that. <laughs> you like that. How, how, so how about, it's stupid, how about beans, beans, <laughs> so, they're good for your I'm only laughing. They're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not partaking in these jokes. All right, it's a stupid joke. I know. So anyway, it's not my sense of humor at all. But my dad used to say that when we were little. It's kind of more my dad's sense of humor. It used to make me laugh. Mom, so, you're leaking everywhere. I know. I don't like that. You have a little sponge? Oh, I hate the smell of beans. I know they don't smell great, but. Once they're in the, in the, oh my gosh, that's not a nice language. <clears throat> I like that you are doing a dance show while we're cooking. Some of your dancing with the stars moves. No, I forgot all of those. You did? Yeah, Val. All right. Where are you? And Val had a baby and his wife. That's so exciting. I know. We also have to put in a half a teaspoon of, ground, of black pepper if you have black pepper. I have black pepper. All right. This she is, loves this thing. Oh, it's such a good investment. I've had it for... Well, since, since I was a kid. Since you're a little kid. She's cutting an onion. I am cutting one small onion. Do you cry when you do this? Um, yes. I really actually hate cutting onions. You want me to do it? Hate. No. So I just kind of do some big things like that. Oh, you put it in cutting. here. And uh, okay. one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to heat that up and I'm going to saute the onions. This recipe calls for ground beef. I use turkey. And if you are vegetarian or vegan, um, obviously omit any meat and it's a really nice vegan dish with the beans and you could even, you know, add more vegetables if you want. You could throw anything in there. That's, that's what I like about this is you can modify this and make it whatever is, you know, palatable to you or your diet restrictions or choices. Here I'm going to throw the meat in. Great. This is one pound. Sometimes I add a little bit more. Now, obviously, we gotta just break it up. Yeah. Now, spices. I'm gonna add our spices. Our spices. So, I'm gonna put some beans in. It calls for beef broth, but because I'm using turkey, I'm going to use some chicken broth. Chicken broth in. I'm going to eyeball this a little bit because this is more than this is more than what we need, but it does call for some tomato sauce. What we don't have, unfortunately, is we do not have tomato paste because I forgot to bring the can of tomato paste. Okay, so we've added everything. We've added our chicken broth, our diced tomatoes, our tomato sauce. I did forget the tomato paste. that I left it on the countertop in my house, which was stupid. Um, it does call for two tablespoons. We're going to wing it today and go without it. I think it'll be fine. Um, and now that we have everything assembled, we're going to put the pan on a low boil and um, we're going to cook it for about 30 minutes. Let me show you my contribution. 
She sets the timer. She's very good at setting the timer. 30 minutes. And you're cooking your chili without the lid right now for the 30 it's no, minutes. Yeah, it's no lid. Oh, I need to be able to open it. An apron. Oh, that would be good. I gave you that. I have two. Which one do you want? I can't believe we're this now, late to wearing an apron. Now, I think we're too late. No, because we're making cornbread. What? Good, good thing we're putting our aprons on. After we cook. After we finish the... <laughs> That's one cup of cornmeal. And a half. Two cups of flour. This is why I'm not good at baking. Because I'm not measuring very carefully. Baking, you need to measure carefully. Okay. Can you just grab the baking powder? Baking powder? I need one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Let me just say what we put in here. So we, we did flour, cornmeal, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And then I just put all the dry ingredients together. Now we're done with that. So I'm just going to put that there for now. I need four eggs, and we're going to separate the egg yolks and the egg whites. I also got this recipe online. I got it from highheelsandgrills.com. Anyway. But, but this separate so you, the yolk. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, cool. Bossy in the kitchen. Bossy in the kitchen. Nice. Is that good enough? That's good. And you put the perfect. Very good. Who knew you had this secret talent of cracking eggs, <laughs> separating out the eggs and the egg white. We do need a 9 by 13 inch baking pan that we've got to grease up. Okay. Perhaps. Is that where your story falls apart? Perhaps. Oh my gosh, well we can't make this without a baking pan. <laughs> nice. Look at that, 9 by 13. We need to make a little scrub. We need to scrub that up a little bit. I keep losing the recipe and having to find it. <laughs> it's so frustrating. One cup of milk. The egg yolk. One cup of milk. And I have some vanilla extract here, unless you have some open. Oh, you have some. Oh, I do have some, but you don't need that because it's right there. Um, just going to need a little help. There, I'll just grab my open one. Oh! I like a little extra vanilla. <coughs> I like vanilla. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put this in here. So I'm going to take the liquids, the egg and the milk and the vanilla. I also have to do butter. We've got to measure out some butter. How much? Oh my goodness, three quarter cups of butter. And it calls for it to be melted. We're just riveting, aren't we? This is just, <laughs> this is just so exciting. <laughs> We're um, clearly not chefs. We're clearly not chefs. We are not chefs. But at least we look really cool in the kitchen. But because um, our, our aprons, aprons, our aprons are very cool. I know. I was so proud of myself the other night when I, the other day when I did this. I thought, oh, this could just be an absolute disaster. But it, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't so bad. And I made a big salad to go with it. And I did a really nice mixed green salad with some goat cheese, some candied pecans. And like some that. dried cherries. That's not your thing, but everyone liked it. And um, I did a little balsamic vinegar olive oil dressing. It was really nice. A little salt, a little pepper. And Caitlin really liked it. John's wife, she was so funny. She goes, I haven't eaten salad in like eight years, but I really liked this salad. But now we have to whisk up the egg whites. I don't quite know why they make you do it this way and not put it all in together, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to follow the directions. We need to melt the butter and then also we need to take a little bit of butter and just grease that pan. Are you sniffing around? Who loves you? Say my grandma. My grandma loves me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, here's my boy. Cookie, huh? Lots of smells. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love you. <laughs> Healthy hair. I look like a mad scientist. <laughs> I look like a mad scientist. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sweating. It's not my kitchen. 
<laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Or the melted butter. Okay, wave bye. Bye. Our chili's cooking up. Our rice should almost be done. You can have it all prepped and ready and then you don't have to stress. You just stick it on the stove and heat it up for your dinner party. Ooh. Hopefully it turned out okay. Bye. Star of the show! Okay, so we're gonna be back and show you hopefully some decent cornbread. See you in 30. heavy on the turkey, but it's all good. Look at this. <laughs> all right, gonna serve it over rice with a little cornbread. We'll show you the final product. There we go. It's a little messy, but it's good. Taste test, okay. Oh, quick. Not cooking in my own kitchen. I'm being a little. <laughs> a little Try the cornbread. Oh my god, is it good? Mm. This is so yummy. Those two websites have some nice, some nice, relatively simple recipes, mm. which is good for me. This was fun. Thanks for coming on, fun Chef cooking. Lori. Thank you. Um, not really hardly a chef, but if you guys want to see us do this type of video again Just make sure you comment another recipe or something that you want to try or if your dad or mom or Somebody in your life has a wonderful recipe that you love Please comment it and maybe we can try, try to, one of your guys' recipes. Yeah, that would be fun I yeah. would love to try that love to try let's do that simple <laughs> I'm an idiot. Thank no. you you're not, but um, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. It's so good. See ya.